Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about remote work. I get asked all the time, Anthony, do you work remote? And uh, how do you, <laughs> how do you not burn out doing it? How are you effective, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Uh, so hopefully, I'm going to show you my strategies for working remote. And yes, I do work remote. Uh, I am currently in Ann Arbor, Michigan. However, Sentry, which is my current employer, uh, is located in San Francisco, Toronto, and Vienna are the offices, if I recall correctly. Uh, and my previous employer, Stripe, uh, they're based out of a whole bunch of places, but I was working remote there as well. And of course, during the pandemic, <laughs> uh, most software engineering work was, was remote as well. Uh, but anyway, I wanna show you my strategies for making remote work effective and the things that I try and make a conscious effort to uh, improve that situation. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the very first thing that I struggled with a lot when I went remote is managing the amount of time that I spent at my computer doing employer work. Uh, I basically had both problems. Like some days I would work extremely way too much. Like I would look up from my computer and be like, oh shoot, I'm 14 hours into a work day when I probably should have signed off forever ago. Um, and then I had other days where like, you know, I would get distracted and not <laughs> do my you know, fair share for that day, which, you know, is is fine as long as you're getting your work done uh, but i found that i had a really hard time managing my schedule and being consistent about it so the first thing that i did that uh, made the biggest difference was improving scheduling and this made the biggest difference to my happiness and remote working and my effectiveness so this is this is very important um, and most of what i did here was very simple was to set phone alarms for various breakpoints during my day so phone alarm to wake up and start working a phone alarm to take a lunch break, and a phone alarm to stop working. The last one is the most important one. Uh, overworking is, is a real easy pathway to burning out or you know, spending more of your free time, or lo losing a lot of your free time and losing your work-life balance. Um, I, found, I found as soon as I had set alarms, that solved most of my problems. Uh, the next thing that I did that was really effective in making remote work not feel so... So, um, you know, eliminate distractions and not feel like it's so lonely is to separate my workspace from my actual space. And what I've done with this, oh shoot, where is that? Sorry. Uh, let me grab this. Oh no, where is the file? Uh, here we go. So I have an entirely separate workspace that I have in a different room of my house. And you've probably seen uh, this photo from my stream setup. And this is kind of my personal computer and my personal space. I make sure to physically separate the work that I do. So this, this is set up in my living room. Uh, so I have to walk into my living room to do work. I have to be on a completely separate physical computer uh, to do work. And this helps me kind of separate mentally my workspace versus my personal space. So I have uh, you know, a separation of concerns. When I'm at this desk, I'm in work mode. When I'm at the streaming desk, I'm in streaming mode or <laughs> or game mode or or open source mode or whatever whatever else I want to do. Um, so I, I try and make sure that I have uh, a separate environment there. Uh, we also know, notice some nice features of this, like I have a nice keyboard so that my work experience is pleasurable. You know, it's the, the same keyboard that I sometimes use for streaming here. Um, I have a separate screen so that you know I can uh, do work here. It's not plugged in in here, but <laughs> pretend it's plugged in. Um, it's a standing desk, so I can you know alternate between sitting and standing. I have the same the same chair that I use for my you know normal stuff. Oh, this one's blue and that one's gray, but you know bas basically the same. Um, I also try and make sure that my desk has nice lighting, so you can see I can uh, open the shades to look directly outside. I, of course, have them slightly slatted so you don't <laughs> completely dox where I live. Um, and yeah, so I try, and, I try and make sure that I have a separate working space. Uh, the next thing that I do is I try and have as many one-on-one -on -one meetings or person-to-person -person meetings as possible with camera. Um, And admittedly, this one is kind of tough for me as well. Like I, you know, as much as I stream and talk to you guys for a lot of time, I'm kind of a little bit shy. Uh, I don't like talking to people that much. 
but I found that one thing that I was missing the most by moving from office work, where it's really easy to walk over to someone's desk and be like, hey, yo, can we have a quick chat? Uh, was I, I didn't have that in remote work and uh, establishing a situation where I have both recurring meetings where I meet with the same people every week and having the opportunity to be like, hey, can I just jump into a, you know, a, a VC call to speak quickly about something or another? Um, kind of just quick informal chats. I find that those make me much happier when working remote and, and make me feel a little less lonely because... <laughs> doing remote work is kind of lonely. Uh, the last thing that I did uh, is to get outside more. Uh, and, you know, also, you know, exercise more. And this was uh, just kind of like a way to release endorphins more, get that, get that vitamin D. Um, yeah, that's the one from the sun, right? <laughs> um, and... I don't know, just just have, have an excuse to go outside. So for me, what this looks like is sometimes I'll go for a run during lunch. Um, if I'm having like a thinking session where I don't really need to be at the computer, I will go for a walk and you know think about things while I'm, while I'm walking outside. Uh, you'll also notice in this photo here, I have a little stepper here. This was like 60 bucks on Amazon. It was really great. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, this stepper is amazing. Uh, during meetings where I don't have to be at the keyboard, uh, I will just walk on this stepper. And it's like an, an, a nice way to get a passive calorie burn and get a little bit of endorphins going in your head. Uh, but it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of my strategies to making remote work successful. Uh, the biggest highlights are don't work too much. Make sure you have a schedule to force yourself away from your work computer. Uh, separate your work and personal space as much as you can, such that you can be in the right headspace for work and the right headspace for other stuff and have a nice work-life balance. And, you know, exercise and, and meet with people. Get as much person contact as possible. I guess another note on person contact, uh, sometimes I turn my camera off during meetings. Uh, there, there are days where I'm not feeling so great. And so <laughs> being able to have my own personal privacy can be nice as well. But anyway, that's kind of my strategies for, for remote work. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.